I'm Chef Erica Wides. I'm here at the Chef's Garden today to introduce you to our new Asian salad selection box. This box is an incredible thing. You get this assortment of all these beautiful Asian salad greens. What you get in this box is a combination of greens that you wouldn't be able to get in a supermarket. These are the kind of greens that we chefs only get in the profession. To be able to get this at home is a really great thing. You have an assortment of this beautiful crisp green spinach, something called red ribbon sorrel, which has a nice tang to it. This is New Zealand spinach. We have some um, little blush choy here. All these really great, really unique salad greens that are put together for you in this combination. And you can do all kinds of things with them. You can make salads from them, you can saute them. They're great just on their own. It's a really unique combination. And along with it, these really beautiful, nice spring onions. They're just vibrant and green and plucked right out of the ground. So what I'm going to do with these today is make a salad with a warm Asian vinaigrette. These greens have a nice kind of heartiness to them. They have a good crunch to them. And a warm vinaigrette's a nice way to dress them because it just softens them up a little bit. So it's kind of in between a salad and a cooked green dish. The first thing I have to do though, of course, is wash them. These were just pulled right out of the ground within the last 24 hours. They still may have a little bit of dirt on them, so we definitely want to wash them. So what I'm going to do with these is just take them out of the box and just trim off any little bottoms and put them right into a sink full of really cold water. If you use really cold water, it'll help the greens to stay really crisp, gives them a little refreshing bath, and it'll just take off any grit or any dirt that's still clinging to them. Some of them don't even need trimming. They're already perfectly trimmed like this. But if they have a little tiny base, you can just pluck them apart like that or just trim off the stem like that. This is also something you could get your kids to do because kids love to help in the kitchen and this is a really safe, easy thing for them to help you with. And then they can get their hands in the water. And kids like to do that. They like to get wet and get messy. So it's a good way to help you. So to wash these, just put them into some really cold water. You can fill up a clean sink or you can do it in a large bowl. Whatever you have that has enough space. You really want to give the greens some room to swim in there and some room to move around. When the greens have been washed and you want to remove them from the water, it's really important that you don't scoop from the bottom. You don't want to lift up any grit or any sand that may have fallen to the bottom of the sink. So you just kind of skim them right off the top because they'll float. What's great is the greens float and the dirt sinks. So you just lift them right off the top and right into your spinner. You could also just roll them up in a towel and pat them dry too. That works just as well. But because we are making a salad, we want our greens to be really dry. If you use wet greens in a salad, your dressing is going to be diluted from the moisture and it, it can also just slip right off the greens. If you're going to saute them, you can leave a little moisture on them. That helps to wilt them down when you're cooking. Okay, so into the spinner and we're gonna give these a good spin. Okay, from the spinner into a big bowl so that we'll have room to toss them with the dressing. So now what I wanna do is trim the spring onions and get them ready for the salad too. Now, some of them may come with just a little bit of this papery peel still attached to them. When these grow up into big onions, that would be the skin on the onion. But these are just really young and, and delicate, but we just wanna take that off. And all you have to do is rub it and it comes right off. It's the easiest onion you'll ever peel. It just comes right off like that. And then I'm just gonna take the roots off of these. Every part of the spring onion is edible except the roots. So we wanna take that off and We'll get those trimmed. You can just line them all up and take off the roots. And because these onions are young and they're delicate, the flavor is really sweet and not too assertive. So you can eat them raw, the whole thing. So I'm just going to cut them down into small pieces, about an inch, inch and a half. And I like to just toss them into the salad just like this. You can cut them a little bit smaller. You can mince them up. You could throw them on the grill. A whole bunch of them on the grill would be great. Just like that. And these will go right in the bowl with my salad greens. So now the next step is to make the vinaigrette for the salad. 
I have a small saute pan over kind of a medium low heat and I'm going to heat up about three tablespoons of canola oil. You want to use a neutral flavored oil for this. You don't want to use olive oil because it's an Asian dish. You can use canola, you could use peanut oil, something like that. Into the oil we're going to add some minced ginger and some minced garlic. Ginger garlic are a classic combination in Asian cooking. You combine them with green onions and you have what we like to call Asian mirepoix. Mirepoix is a French term for carrots, celery, and onions. It's the foundation of French cooking. Ginger garlic and scallions are what we call Asian mirepoix. It's the foundation of most Asian cooking. All I'm doing here now is warming up the ginger and the garlic. I just want to get a little bit of color. You see I'm even taking it off the flame so it doesn't get too hot. I'm going to turn off my heat here. Keep swirling this just a little. It's starting to get very fragrant. I can really smell the ginger and the garlic. The oil's getting nice and hot. And that's it. From here, we're going to go finish making our dressing. From the stove, we want to transfer this into a small mixing bowl. Get all that garlic and ginger out of the pan. And then into here, I'm adding the hoisin sauce. And hoisin you can find in every supermarket now. It's really easy to find. It's a great staple to have in your pantry. Hoisin goes in. A little bit of rice vinegar, same thing. You can find it in the supermarket. And a little bit of soy sauce. Just whisk that up. And then this is still nice and warm. And just drizzle it right over the greens. And then just give it a really good toss. You want to make sure the greens get really well coated with the vinaigrette. Make sure that each piece really has some on it. Just like that. And you'll see that the greens will just soften up a little bit. They'll just wilt a tiny bit. That's all we're looking for. Sort of like the old classic warm spinach salad. Same idea. Okay, now we're going to transfer this to a serving platter. I like to put salads on a really nice, big, wide platter. That way when people serve themselves, they can kind of get right into it with the tongs and it doesn't make a big mess. You don't want salad spilling out all over your table. It also sets the salad off really beautifully against a white platter. Make sure you get all those nice little spring onions in there. Those are going to add a really nice flavor contrast to the sweetness of the vinaigrette. And that's it. Looks great. This is a warm Asian salad selection salad with a hoisin vinaigrette from the Chef's Garden. And I hope you enjoy making it. And I hope to see you again soon.